Hello, YouTube. Connect the motor vlogs here. Now, I did a essential motorcycle gear for beginner riders video not too long ago, and in that video, I did a big overview of all the stuff I've I've bought for for riding gear, what works for me, why I bought it, different ways you can use it. But I didn't really go over or review any of the stuff that I actually use on a daily basis for my riding, and I thought, you know what, I should, probably should. So today, I'm going to do that. It's basically a quick review, but an overview. So if you need some ideas of how to make how to make your stuff look good together, just basically some recommendations for a specific gear, this is your video. So we're going to start with my helmet. This is a G-Max 54S Sport Helmet. Now that's what Sport stands for, I'm almost barely certain of it. It is a sweet helmet. It has uh, quite a few features in it. One, it's a flip-up face. So if you're stopping traffic or you just want to get a little bit cooler, you can flip that bugger up. You can talk. You can mess with your microphone if you have to. Everything slides right on up, and it works absolutely flawlessly. Second feature, which is absolutely perfect for riding in the summer, is built-in sunglasses. It has a very, very dark-tinted uh, sun visor there. And also, it has a very, very, very strong flip-up mask, which is kind of a good feature because one of my other full-face helmets sucks in that regard. And it also has this cool feature, which I really don't have a use for, but I think it's supposed to be kind of like a uh, four-way hazard light. Three clicks. One's a solid, one's a slower flash, and then one's a quick flash. I imagine that's like an emergency scenario light, like where you can put your helmet on the side of the road to signal that you're there. I don't know. I don't really have a use for it, but there it is. Next, we're going to move on to, in my opinion, the second most important, the jacket. I like leather, and mainly because of its, its wind resistance. It's not always super hot where I live. Like, it'll get, you get some cool nights, so leather's perfect. It doesn't, air doesn't rush right through it. Uh, it doesn't get soaked in the rain, but it has a nice, nice liner. This is the Joe Rocket V Sport leather jacket. It kind of mixes textile and leather in the perfect way where everything that you really need to be leather is leather, but some of the side panels are textile so that they can cool better. It also keeps it nice and light. Leather is very, very abrasion resistant. So if you're riding with a textile jacket and you fall, you pretty much just kind of have to throw that jacket away because it, it's going to be... Now, I love this jacket for a couple reasons. It's cool. It's light. It looks real good. It has CE rated padding in the elbows, shoulders, back, and a couple little side panels. So it has, it has absolute full crash protection. And that is why I chose it. Next, we're going to move on to boots. You can get away with using pretty much anything tough for riding boots. Like, I've used steel toes as long as they're abrasion resistant and they have an armored toe. Because that's where everything goes wrong, right up in the toe. These are the Joe Rocket V Sport. These are absolutely amazing for long distances because they're comfortable. They bend a little bit. They're comfortable to wear. They have they have a buckle here to protect the laces from getting caught in chains, guards, pegs, whatever you name it. it your laces will get caught in it. It also has a shift lever slash brake lever slash whatever the hell you need that for. Uh, extra pad slash grip portion up on the top, which I find really useful because it really grabs your shifter. And lastly, also one of the most important and most underrated pieces of riding gear are gloves. If you look at these, you'll see how worn out these are. There's holes in them, the fingers are worn through, but you know what? That means they're good. That means I use them. Gloves are one of the shorts. But I do see lots of people riding without gloves, and that is that is one of the worst mistakes you can make. If you've ever been hit with a bug in the knuckle, if you've ever passed a transport truck or anything on a on a dusty road, you will feel every little speck of dust like a sting, and it sucks. That's why I wear gloves. I used to use these as dirt bike gloves back when I had that, and they they perform beautifully. They're probably about five years old now, minimum. I'm getting a new pair this year. 
I think a pair of leather ones just to like match the rest of my stuff. I decided I should probably use some good gloves in the video because you see a lot of those. And so, thanks for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a great time riding.